Well, 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 it does seem like Adobe has been listening to my wish list this holiday season, and they've actually added some functions that I have wanted for a long, long time, namely paragraph borders and shading. What does that mean for us who design cards? Well, there are some interesting features that I think you'll enjoy when you combine this with the data merge functionality that we've learned so far. Let's take a look. So here's a quick and uh, simple little mock-up I, I did with some of the assets from Trickster Champions of Time, just to give you an example of how the paragraph uh, styles that InDesign has added uh, will kind of work with some of the data merge stuff that we've done so far. Uh, right now, what I'll, all I've got is this very plain looking paragraph style that I haven't really done anything with. And you can see that the text uh, goes above this background element here. Under normal circumstances, you would have wanted to have a standard size or standard height uh, background thing so that you can see all of the text here because sometimes the text is a little bit longer. Uh, what I prefer is when I have uh, backgrounds that rise uh, or fall to the height of uh, the content. So I, could, I just can see more of the art. Uh, so this is the paragraph style that I'm working with. We have both paragraph borders and paragraph shading. Now paragraph shading uh, has been recently added in the previous edition, I think about uh, towards the beginning of 2017. Um, and it allowed us to basically uh, make a new background uh, color. We could only select from the swatches. so. Uh, these are the swatches that we have available, so I could just pick any of these colors. Uh, let's just say I'll go for this kind of goldish color and reduce that tint to like 10% so I get more of a tan. All right, so uh, we have that feature already, um, but what is uh, somewhat new is a lot of these corner size shape and offset controls that we have available to us now. Uh, what I would like to do on this card is get this um, bottom to always uh, go to the uh, very on the bottom of the bleed, so way beyond there. So let's just call that eight millimeters, because uh, that takes into account the three millimeters that we need to be away from from the edge of the card, and then the additional three millimeters away from the bleed, plus a little bit extra just as a safety. Um, and along the top, let's add one millimeter to that. Uh, and you know what? I kind of want the I want the width of this um, paragraph shading to match the uh, text. So let's do that. Uh, that's hugging the text a little bit too closely. So I'll also add a left and a right offset to give a little bit more space there. Uh, and another cool thing that we have control of now is the uh, corner sizes uh, and the uh, corner rounding. So let's uh, just do the top right and top left corners and round those uh, and give those a good like three millimeter roundings. And that's, that's okay. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's, you know what, that, that tan color is a little bit hard, uh, hard to see against this, uh, background. So let's go blue, purple, blue. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go blue just for the sake of uh, visibility here. Uh, so there's that. The new, new thing is these borders, which are independent of the paragraph shading. Uh, so that does mean you have to uh, double check. Okay, what are my settings on my paragraph shading? Okay, I got to make sure that I'm copying that essentially from uh, uh, here. So uh, let's just say I want to make this uh, the fully saturated blue um, standard uh, standard thickness stroke. Uh, I can independently control the thicknesses of the stroke on the top, left, and bottom. So let's just say I want to make this zero. Uh, I want to make that one. Uh, let's call this two, so a very thin stroke on the sides. Now, if you do make different widths on your strokes, it does disable a couple of different uh, things uh, in, in the settings here. Uh, for one thing, uh, the corners will not be adjusted if the stroke widths are not the same. Um, I'm not sure why uh, that's the case. I imagine there's some technicalities there. Uh, so uh, if you want everything to be workable with your rounded corners or whatever uh, special features you have there, you have to make all the strokes uh, the same width. And uh, same thing as before, I want to make the uh, offset on the bottom uh, 8 so that it goes all the way past the bleed. Uh, and then, let's see, I want to make the uh, width the, to match the text, offset the top a little bit left and the right just by one millimeter. 
Uh, and then last but not least is setting the top corners to be rounded at about three or two, yeah, two millimeters. Uh, that roughly matches it. Uh, and there you go. Uh, so now we have this uh, cool paragraph shade thing. Uh, one other one other thing that I have done to this uh, text frame, I have aligned it to the bottom so that um, any of the text is going to rise from the bottom to the top, um, no matter the length. So let's uh, take a closer look at what that looks like. So say we go to, so you can see the text has risen up a little bit higher than it had on the previous card. Looking at yet another card, it rises up even higher. Cool, so to wrap things up, I thought I would show you a quick uh, fast forward of some work I've been doing on a recent prototype using the new paragraph shading and border styles. Uh, it's really neat. I, I kind of like where it's going. I'm not sure uh, how else I can use this. I don't think I'm using it to its full uh, effect here, obviously. Uh, this is just a black and white prototype pretty much, but uh, I think it's got some really cool potential. I think it has some interesting applications for uh, some uh, variable content. Uh, on card designs. If you have any cool thoughts on how to use it in your prototypes, I'd be happy to see it. Feel free to share it in the comments or head on over to the Patreon and you can share your thoughts there. Till next time, thanks! Hello, hello! Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to download more stuff and more content, uh, you can find it over in the Patreon at the link below. Thanks very much. Bye! Bye!